consecutive. No Jalen Williams. He is out. As Wallace had the step, goes right to the rim, and that's a play that we've seen him make here over the first 14 games of the season. Dujovic outside, swings it down to Williams. He struggled all year from the outside. He's going to miss that one. Dujovic was blocked on the weak side there from SGA. Can shoot the ball a little bit better, but a slow start here for both teams. As Shea finds a crease on the baseline, had the step on White, then gets up to the rim for the dunk. This will be a fun matchup between Caruso, who's one of the better on-ball defenders. Shea hangs in the air long enough, able to bank it in, and that's back-to-back -back deuces for SGA, who is brilliant on the road. That's a good one. How about this? You know, lose the ball, no problem. Your, your work's not done yet. You, you may have forced him off his dribble. He's still coming at you. And this here is just a nice hang time. Now, with that last bucket. State, and then the back-to-back -back against Portland and the Thunder took care of business in different ways. Nice pass, Josh Giddy finds the cut. A little bit of space there, SGA, who's got six quick points here in the first quarter. The Thunder show. The Thunder had a lot of confidence in running offense through Chet Holmgren. A lot of time to work with here. Dort as Kobe White gambled on the pass, and it left Dort wide open. Love the two because they're attacking the basket. This is not a shot blocking team. So they figure that out. Keep coming down, man. Well, they're one of the slowest teams in the NBA pace-wise as well. The Thunder want to push and speed things up. Chicago is 29th. There is SGA. That'll speed up the offense. That patent little baseline shot that he's perfected. How about this? This is, this is his patented move, folks. He's got two defender on him. He has a little... Shea trying to set up the defense. The ball swings around the horn. There is Kingston Wallace as he rattles home that three. It's right around the horn. That extra pass sets up the open shot. And you know what I like? Your, your two best shooters are passing the ball. Isaiah Joe. Joe, who's been on a real scorcher of late. Catch fire three on the way. And he's got himself another one. 50% shooting on the season. And nobody hotter on the planet right now than Isaiah Joe. Their offense. But Isaiah Joe, he's had his offense going for a while now. How about all year? Over 50% from downtown. He keeps it going. Get those easy shots. Like right now, they're working deep into the shot clock. And it was good defense trying to keep White out of the paint. Now it's loose underneath. He has a great identity as a player, and that identity is holistic. It's how he moves. It's how he cuts and it's how he moves the ball and throws it down on a run out like that, guys. Just Jay knew he was going to get up there, and then I don't know if Isaiah Joe and SJ planned that before, but if they did, it was it's interesting. Williams have not been called for a single foul. Oh, Shea attacks on Drummond, not a problem. And Shed Holmgren with the putback. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Holmgren passed up the three. Instead, he will drive, and nobody there to slow him down as he goes right down Broadway for the dunk. Miss at the rim. Here's that glide. Look at him. Jumped almost from the free throw line. It was like he was coming in as a paratrooper from Tinker Air Force Base. At all. Just try to get in front of Chad. The deep catch, Drummond, and out of skill on the hook shot, the turnaround hook shot. Dort drives, dishes, Kenrich across the baseline. Thunder retained possession. Misic dumps it off. Nice play. Drummond came in just enough, and Misic timed it up perfectly. The shot clock was winding down. Kind of lulled the defense to sleep. Looks like he's getting more and more comfortable. Had those seven assists as Jack Holmgren swats it away on the shot from Drummond. He did a volleyball block. He kept it in play. We call that tool in the block. You don't know anything about that, you and Nick. Just, just let me finish this. It's called tool in the block. We keep it in play. He is a big body inside. Set the screen. What a rake there by Lou Dort. Went up and took it right away from DeMar DeRozan. Somewhat similar to OKC. They like to turn you over. They've got active hands. They're top five in opponent turnovers. And then they like to get out on the run. Well, and, and also, too, the Thunder like to do what the, the Lou Dort just did. The Bulls are trying to get their offense started. This hasn't been a whole lot here so far. Right now, the Thunder... This is going to be a good test for OKC as Dort's three is a little strong and racing in to grab that rebound. He's giddy, giddy, floats it up and going to get the bounce. Dort hit the rim, but after the ball went through the cylinder. See those, they, they, they're forcing them to work deep into the shot clock once again. And this is going to become a desperation shot right here. As White got underneath, got caught in the air and turns it over. Here is Giddy, right back to meet Sitch, who's going to lay it up and in in transition. And you called it out perfectly, Michael. We just made a bounce pass to see what, who, who could go get it. Go, 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 go. 
Williams bounces right off of Mitzic. Back out to the perimeter. SGA defended by Williams. Stops on the dime, pulls up for the shot. So smooth. There is SGA. We talked about that patent shot on the mid range. You can't forget about the elephant. Okay. Okay. You know, one minute you see it, it's white. You know, then it's Javon. This is a matchup here. Caruso and SGA. See that double team coming down, helping him out. Isaiah Joe from the outside took a little bit of contact. Not a problem as he still sticks it from deep. Caruso tried the underhand scoop. Couldn't get it up to the rim. He had nowhere to pass it to. Shea putting his head down. It's going to be a blocking foul. Plus the contact and Kelly. Shea looking to initiate. Outside Joe. Quick trigger three. And he's got himself another one. Already three first half threes for Isaiah Joe, who keeps the offense moving. This is off to Caruso. Open man. Catch fire three. It is Holmgren. Can't answer. And here come the Bulls, two on one. Joe, the last line of defense. And how about the strip? And he got it off the leg of Kobe White. Keeping up the pace, getting the ball ahead of the defense to keep generating those good looks, guys. Thank you, Paris. And it's always a good look when SGA is able to get to where he wants to, just outside the nail. And, well, and, and you know, DeMar DeRozan got a lot of help from his teammates in that first half as well. And it's always a positive sign for them. Than he did last year in terms of three-point field goal attempts per game. He, he uses it very judiciously. How about this strip away by Giddy? This is what the Thunder were doing in that first quarter. Gave him a little bit of leverage on the scoreboard. Giddy get those steals from the corner right in front of the Thunder bench. That's one of those wide open looks. Start to start number four on the season. He's been six man extraordinaire for Chicago. Holmgren on the step back boy. So much skill on that shot. And that one was sweet. Chicago's going to be pushing to try to get the offense going here in the early minutes. But Shea is taking his offense to another level. He was stone-faced like a statue before that game. So focused, so intense. But he said he was living his dream come true. Certainly did. He was a part of it. And Josh Giddy coming out of the timeout. Those big, long strides. And then the soft touch off the glass. I think you love that. The Thunder have got quiet here offensively. DeRozan in. He had a shot blocked by Wallace. Rosen got it back, dumps it down to Vucevic. And it'll be Chicago basketball. The third quarter here for the Bulls, who have gotten right back in this game. There's the dive. Wiggins off the beautiful pass. It'll give and go between him and SGA. Backdoor cut, nice play. There is Wiggins. And what a pass from Kenrich Williams. He is directing the offense right now because he draws such an attention. Boy, this is a big mistake by the Bulls here. Can't leave him open. He'll make you pay every single time. See the double team coming on SGA, trying to get the ball out of his hands. Ball swings down to Kenridge. Inside to Holmgren, and Holmgren puts it down. That's a smart play. A great offense. Holmgren kept out of the lane. So Mises drives, kicks, open man. It's Kenridge Williams. That's his second three, and another big one. Off that pass, off the drive. He knows he wants to improve it. Rosen. Down the lane, DeMar DeRozan got denied at the rim by Chet Holmgren with just an incredible recovery. He's cocking back on this one. Look at that. He says, uh-huh. So he said points becoming more and more important in what has turned into a real defensive game here in the second half. Giddy too strong and on the weak side. Kenrich Williams, like he's done so many times over his Thunder career. Talk about protecting the paint. Kenrich. Underneath the Wiggins gave it right to Giddy. Giddy with the finger roll. Nicely done. The extra pass. And somehow Wiggins knew he was going to be there. The Bulls retain possession. Kept Vucevic off the free throw line, but it leads to a three there from Caruso. And it hit everything, and it almost went in and finally rolled off. Wow. Got it right back. Has to make his move. Holmgren avoids the defender. It's, he did a great job of sidestepping Kobe White for the layup. This game that has just turned into a grind. Williams, going the three, he drives, way too strong. Offensive rebound by Vucevic. Would not, would not allow the Bulls a clean look. And you pointed out, Michael, the rotations and then a little stutter step from SGA. Take the three instead. Shea run a little offense here, got it right back. Joe's going to fire away the three, got fouled! Puts it in as he took the contact from White. Stepping up. Oh, oh. 
himself with hands, and there's another block in what is already a season high. The Bulls, in all likelihood, did not need to foul there. This game is academic at this point with 28.1 seconds. And the Thunder starting to put together some victories in different ways. He's just gonna, this has really shown a lot of respect for the game because instead he's going to do the gentleman's shot clock violation as the Thunder fans are treated on this Thanksgiving Eve to an early treat. Well, it's a double-digit victory, and the Thunder with a stiff arm on the Chicago comeback in the third quarter. Some big-time three-point shooting, and the Thunder going to win their sixth consecutive game. First six-game winning streak since February of 2019. And this one did not come easy by any means. Even with the shooting struggles of Chicago, the Thunder really had to dig this one out. The offense did not come easily. Chicago, obviously full of veterans, full of big-time scores. But it's SGA's 10th career 40-point game of the Thunder.